Hello, Chris back again. Uh, today I'm going to talk about osteoarthritis. So in my case it's early onset osteoarthritis. Um, that's when it's in um, somebody who is under 65. So when we think of osteoarthritis we often think about um, that uh, wear and tear. So the cartilage um, gets worn out and then eventually we have bone on bone so it will um, one of the most common areas is in our fingers and so you will see my fingers have started twisting I have bracing on and splints to try and help with that at night time I sleep, sleep with this guy on um, I have a few other ones different options um, and that's to prevent um, the twisting that you'll see that happens um, one in five Americans have arthritis, and yeah, most of our statistics come from the US, um, and 14% are under 65. So most people, it is from that wear and tear of just life. Uh, a lot of people will get it. For myself, um, mine's primarily genetic, so it comes from having Ehlers-Danlos type 3, um, which is an issue with producing things like collagen. And so it, it increases joint laxity and increases your risk of having early onset osteoarthritis. And that bone on bone, so um, that can be in the most common places are your knees, your hips, your fingers, um, especially thumbs, and big toes, neck, and low back. That's the most common areas, though it can go in other parts of the body. And it'll create these nodes. So basically the bone tries to grow more bone and it creates little bony growths and those create more pain and more swelling. Um, this can happen, um, like I said, from just general wear and tear, but usually in younger people it is either genetic or it's something from an injury. So if you get a car accident, often that can lead to arthritis. Um, occupational activities and obesity is the number one cause for osteoarthritis and it's also the number one way to relieve pain is through weight loss. Um, so a lot of things like um, leading a sedentary lifestyle, poor posture when sitting for long periods, heavy lifting, doing a job with a lot of time sitting at a desk can lead to it. So a lot of typing and stuff like that um, and being overweight or clinically obese and an inflammatory diet. So our North American diet of a lot of fat and a lot of sugar can um, be a factor in there as well. Um, somebody who's very active can often get it at a young age. So um, like athletes, somebody who runs marathons, that kind of things, high impact sports like rugby, um, joint injuries, birth defects, um, or having different leg lengths. So I have different leg lengths. My right hip is much worse with my arthritis than my left hip because of it. Um, hormone disorders that affect growth, diabetes, um, it running in the family. So for treatment, there really isn't a lot of treatments. So like I said, I have my ring splints, I have this kind of brace. These are for the big toes because my big toes are one of my biggest sources of pain. You would think that a toe could not cause you so much discomfort, but trust me, it can. Um, for my shoulder, I have this one. This one's lovely, it plugs in and it does cold or heat, depending on what feels better at the time. Both are great treatments for it. Um, I also have custom bracing for both of my knees. And this is exceptionally helpful for a couple different things, both for my osteoarthritis and my Ehlers-Danlos. Keep those joints where they're supposed to be. Uh, specifically for me, my patella, because it goes out of place and then it's rubbing bone on bone um, and doesn't feel amazing. Uh, some of the other treatments are um, non-steroidal anti-inflammatories, um, which I can't take uh, because of my other medications and conditions, but it can be helpful for a lot of people. Um, Over-the-counter pain relief creams and stuff like that can be used, heat, cold, um, for hands, wax pots are amazing. Where you can do hand dips for those kind of things. I have one of those. Um, a physiotherapist giving you a plan for how to do proper stretching, that kind of stuff is really important. Um, daily exercise is really important because you have to keep those joints moving. You don't want to do the wrong kind of exercise, which is why you should talk to a physio. Um, 
Things like swimming are amazing for arthritis because there is no impact on that. So there's no wear and tear or less wear and tear on your joints when you're in the water and it feels amazing. Uh, the water when I'm swimming is basically the only time that I am pain free. Absolutely love water. Um, weight loss and um, weight control are key because unfortunately um, the more weight, the more pressure and wear and tear there is on the joints. Um, cherry extract has been very helpful for me. And um, as an absolute last resort is surgery. They try not to do surgery because obviously we don't want to do a surgery on anybody unless it's absolutely necessary because there can be complications and consequences from that and they don't last forever. So a hip replacement um, isn't going to last you your entire lifetime. Eventually it's going to have to be redone, that sort of thing. So they try and avoid it. Um, and one of the best ways to do that is things through bracing and stuff like that. Um, osteoarthritis is really painful for some people and not as painful for others, depending on how severe it is and where it is. Um, for me, it is one of my biggest sources of pain in my big toes and my hips and my hands. Um, you will see this often in women more than men, and you'll see it in the hands first usually um, with the twisting of them and the notes forming. Thank you for learning more about osteoarthritis.